paints Isis. I'm an artist. I work in sculpture usually, but I like to try lots of different materials out. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a paper plate for Sphinx, just like these ones here. Um, this is the one I'm going to show you how to make. It's super simple, um, and we'll see what games we can come up with. So for this, you're going to need two paper plates per person. Anything to decorate, I'm going to use these paint sticks. Maybe some tissue paper and some stickers to go on top. Um, tape, masking tape or sellotape is fine. I'm also going to use these to draw around a pencil, glue for decoration, a rubber and some scissors. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw onto the back of these. Try and get it into the middle. So you can do any sized hole you want for this really. Well, I think within this gap. It doesn't have to be big, it doesn't have to be small. Or you could even cut out a triangle. Anything you like really. And then I'll do the same on the other plate. So now that's done. They're roughly in the middle of the plates. I'm going to get the pencil, I mean the rubber, put it under the middle and stab a, sharp hole, a hole with the sharp pencil. Same with this one, just to help us get our scissors in. Let me get it bigger. Careful with that. And I've got my holes. I'm just going to decorate them. I'm going to start with the paint first and stick anything on top and I'm going to start with lighter colours of the paint. I think I'm just going to do anything for this one, no particular theme. important to remember that you want to paint on the outside so the raised side because we're going to stick them together like this so you don't want them to stick like that so that's why I'm painting on this side Show you something you can do with these paints, which is very cool. Okay, maybe a triangle here, and then I can out a line. 
So if you do a darker co colour over a lighter colour, you can scratch it out and I'll show the colour underneath, hopefully. So you have to do it when the paint is wet, it dries very quickly, but it's quite cool. So yeah, it doesn't really work if you try to put like yellow over purple, it has to be the dark colour that goes on top. You can really use some stickers and paper to decorate the brush. I've had an idea. So if you stick them together, this we'll do this in a minute with masking tape, you can paint over masking tape, which is what I did on this one. But if, I think I'm going to use cello tape today. So then you can't paint over it. So you could paint underneath the cello tape. I think I'm going to stick tissue paper over the top. So I'm going to do this one first. I think I'm just going to do the same design. And then I'll show you how to stick them together. To decorate, I used to use these so far, the paint sticks, but you can use anything you like. You can use this um, watercolour set, anything you have around the house, paper. So just be aware if you stick to lots of paper on, it might change the way it flies, but I'm not sure how. So now I'm going to stick these together. I'm going to use lots of little strips of tape all the way around just to make sure it's joined together. Don't want any gaps. Just want it to be pretty secure for when you're throwing it. I think that's okay. So now I'm going to go back to using the tissue paper. because I'm just going to stick it over both sides. So if you do it in lots of small pieces, it will make a nice circle shape. But if you do it in big pieces, it's going to be really hard to make it sit nicely. So I'd say you'll need lots of little strips to make it neat if you want to do paper around the edge. of this on to decorate and then I think I'm ready to fly.
That's one way to make a frisbee. You can decorate it any way you want. I'll show some more ideas in the instructions and uh, show you how to use it at the end of the video.